So what's cure is poisoning? Oh no, he died! <laughs> That's not curing! Stop saying it's cure! Oh my- Live, Toe, live! <laughs> you guys want to know what I wanted to do for Season 2? I don't know how long PewDiePie is taking a break, but I know for a fact that he has given his viewers the ability to know the seed or something like that. So I would like to make a uh, seed for Season 2 of uh, MPU be the PewDiePie world, actually. Where he, like, has this world or something like that. Because why not? That would be really funny. That way other YouTubers or streamers are involved without actually having an actual involvement. I like the idea of underdogging. We're like, oh, I won. I won, but they can still come back. But I want to take in in one of the seasons and bring, if I can, part of the map that was in Minecraft Daily. I would love to bring part of Minecraft Daily for one of the seasons. Or, like, bring Super Minecraft Daily into another. Like, give my viewers some, like, yo moments. But at the same time, like, make it fun for everybody. And, like, if any of the people invested in the series have done Minecraft and they have, like, a particular landscape they want to bring for the viewers, I would not have a problem with bringing it to Father Server and be like, hey, Father Server, can we plop this for this person? Can we plop this? At the end of the day, I want everyone watching, regardless if it's my channel or any of the other channel's channel, to feel. And one of the things that pulls a lot of emotion is fucking nostalgia. So to me, it would be very cool to give not only my people, but other trainers a little bit of like, hey, give me your map. We'll try to like yoink the schematics. Because apparently there's, there's things that we can do where we can copy paste schematics of different worlds and plop them in a brand new one. By the way, season one, the price pool is 500 bucks. Season two... I'm going to make it a thousand. I want to grow on Twitch and I want to grow again on YouTube. Those are my goals. I want to be able to get my editor to be a full-time editor. And that's going to require for me to make a shit ton of money so I can actually have them as a full-time editor. But I'm already kind of kind of almost halfway there, which is really cool. I'm going to be like 100 with you guys. I'm fucking shocked how much attention we've been getting. But like, here's the thing. This means that this idea could have been anybody else and they could have blown the fuck up too. And just to add more to it, I expect people to steal my idea. 100%. I expect people to get inspired. I'm not shocked. You've always been a top tier content creator and this series is excellent. You spark consoles people to become content creators. You're the best. Aw, that's so fucking nice, Scott King. <laughs> I'm going to be in every season. <laughs> I love the idea of this. I love the idea of getting better at Pokemon, and I love the idea of getting better in competitive. Every season, I'm going to be a bigger threat. Every season. So I essentially, quote unquote, am the bad guy of this series. The more I learn, the less chances people have to win. I love the anti-hero arc. I love it too, dude. I'm tired of being baby. I want power. Once we have three champions, I'm going to re-invite them for a champion season. Someone just gave us a song. Call gaming! I wouldn't mind speedrunning a game that is comfy and long that at least lasts four to five hours. Cause like, that's not a problem. But a speedrun game that requires like eight plus hours? Ugh. Fuck me. Listen chat, if the game exists, somebody speedran it. Just because they want to get a free world record. Like, one of the reasons why I kind of stopped doing Undertale was because the RNG was so dog shit. Genocide, Undertale? Oh my fucking god. Boy, did I learn about RNG. So when are we getting a GTA 5 speedrun? Thank you so much for your question. Also, one rule that I gotta let anybody joining this series is, is that I need them to be aware that if we're not putting time into the series, they're losing. Like, if they're going to be here to just be, like, four hours, that's just not going to be enough. This is a highly competitive series in the sense of, like, not only you can do good if you put a lot of times, but, again, there's a lot to take in. Sai, I could beat you? That's cool. I already did that to myself. He fucking beats himself. Oh, shit. Question, though. I, I, I'm really curious, though. In a perfect world where everybody's interested and will put the best amount of effort because they're invited. If you could have any particular YouTuber or streamer be involved in this series with no repercussions, like be honest to yourself. Who would you like to see? Seamus? Okay, that's fair. Call me Carson? XQC? Oh my god, I don't... Ammunition would be so fun in my opinion. Captain Sparkles. What about Swaggers? Here's the thing, chat. 
All right, when you're, when you're giving me suggestions of people, be aware of one thing. Be aware of one thing. Would they actually put the time? I think Captain Sparkles would actually join in, but I don't know if Captain Sparkles likes me. I know 1,000 bucks is probably throwaway money for him, but I think the idea of the fact that it's into gifted subs and that his community will earn it, I think he does care a lot about his community. I want people to create their quote-unquote personas. So there might be a chance that we might have a trainer that never spoke to anybody except on day one and on tournaments. And that's a real thing. That's a real thing. Like, Link truly could have never talked to us because his main language is Dutch. Here's the one thing I like about MPU. It's all about letting the person do whatever the fuck they want. It's about freedom. Like, right now... I could be grinding for Pokemon, but I have the freedom to know that I want to do something different. And again, I saw a lot of people. You guys said Chill Chaos. You guys said uh, Gassy Mexican. I'm down for all those people. Like, my, my invitation first went to the people that I used to work with because I miss them as, as content creators. And I still watch their content. I watch James. I watch Alex. And I personally think that this competition would be very, very good. Specifically, if they had a dry month with no good games coming out. Oh, Kraken. Kraken is definitely going to get an invite, too. Junkyard is... I heard that he opened his server again. MPU speedrun when? Oh, season two is going to be nutty. People are going to be so scared of me. Like, what the fuck? It's not fair. Sly has played multiple seasons. And? So you could be a god at Pokemon. But if you don't have the time to grind, you're fucked. So even though I'm here and uh, I'm, I'm giving myself an advantage of to what to know in the future, I could have the worst luck in season two. And everybody can remember that season as like the unlucky season. And at the end of the day, the real winners, even if the trainers lose, is their fans. Ooh, chill. Chill, 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 chill. I didn't care about that Geo dude. But is this the foretold story? About the return of Agent G? You did not die? <laughs> West Virginia. Ah! Oh, wait, we both died at the same time? Yo! <laughs> That's funny. Goals. <laughs> So, chat, to those that didn't know, at one point, I was going through my whole Pokedex list and tabbing things out. My Pokedex got fucked, but we don't have to worry too much because since we have so many Pokemon already, the amount of checks that we have to do are going to be very, very little. Pep and Meltdown. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Mountain. Come on! Asshole! That's fine. Cause we got more! Also, I heard that even if you get a Meltan, there's a chance that he'll turn into a Ditto. I'm like, motherfucker! Not only is hard, but he'll turn into a Ditto? Fuck off! Bracky. When he said Bracky, I felt that. I can't believe we don't have an Onyx, man. Onyx used to be such an easy Pokemon to get, and now it's just not there. Looks like you can get most of these with stones. Yes. 100%. 100% chat. But a lot of them do spawn already. Like, when I was farming for certain items, a lot of these Pokemon that I wanted were spawning. I'm like, fuck! Kanga's gonna spawn in front of me. I know where I can get them, too. Uh, I got a Ralt, so that means that we can actually get Kirlia and Gardevoir. And since items are specific egg baby Pokemon, Asumura is one of them. Yo! We actually have a lot. We actually have a lot of those, by the way. Uh, the evolution of Gulpin. <laughs> I love Gulpin so much. Swallow.